I got mittens. Okay. Anybody need a paper? Here we go. Copy of the. As you know, well, uh, you'll see in the handout where uh, you'll read, but uh, Dick and I will lead the ceremony here. But as you know, this is a celebration of the first day of spring. Actually, that occurred on the 20th. But um, this is the, the day we had to work with. <laughs> and uh, it's a day in which mariners mark the beginning of the sailing and boating season. And um, the vernal equinox, it means equal day, equal night, nearly. This year we had a supermoon on the 20th, and they also called it a uh, worm moon. And uh, I hadn't heard this before, but they said that um, according to Native American lore, the Native Americans said that this time was when the worms came out. So um, uh, I hadn't heard it before. I think it's a revision of the... So, sounds good, Carl. Yeah. But, uh, why equinox? Yeah, exactly. On the equinox, night and day are nearly the same length, 12 hours all over the world. This is the reason it's called an equinox derived from Latin meaning equal night. However, in reality, equinoxes don't have exactly 12 hours of daylight. What happens on the equinox? The Earth's axis is tilted at an angle of about 23.4 degrees in relation to the epileptic plane in the imaginary plane created by the Earth's path around the sun. On any other day of the year, either the southern hemisphere or the northern hemisphere tilts a little towards the sun, but on the two equinoxes, the tilt of the Earth's aquas is perpendicular to the sun's rays. Uh, I won't go into any more detail about the equinox. <laughs> but follow along if you would, please. In those vernal seasons of the year, when the air is calm and pleasant, it were an injury and a sullenness against nature not to go out and see her riches and partake in her rejoicing in heaven and earth. Now we have a unison reading. Uh, <clears throat> I'll read the words, words in bold and you do the italics. The womb of the stars embraces us. Remnants of their fiery furnaces pulse through our veins. <clears throat> We, we are, are the stars, the, stars, the dust, dust of the explosions cast across space. We are of the earth. We breathe and live in the breath of ancient plants and beasts. Their cells nourish the soil. soil. We build our communities on their harvest and gifts. Our fingers trace the curves carved in clay and stone by our forebears unknown to us. We are a part of the great circle of humanity, gathered around the fire of her heart. We gather anew this day to celebrate our common heritage. May we recall in gratitude all of us in this Now I want to read you a little um, background on the sock burning. And... Um, Brief history of the sock burning of the sock. The annual sock burning began in the spring of 1978 when, after a snowy winter, boat builder Bob Turner bid his oppressive sock wearing days farewell for the summer by throwing them into the campfire. Let me back up a bit. Um, this was actually started in Eastport, Maryland, in that uh, yachting club in Eastport and it's now become a phenomenon celebrated throughout the U.S. <laughs> what was an in act of defiance turned into tradition, and this weekend mariners, marinas, and yacht clubs around the country will celebrate the return of spring. Sperry topsiders, flip tops, <laughs> and best of all, boating season. 
As Turner stated to the Baltimore Magazine, he was amazed at what a lasting impression he had, stating, it was never meant to be taken seriously. It just says, enough with socks, time to go sailing. <laughs> and uh, fast forward to 2019, where the sock burning represents the time to clear out the yacht club, cobwebs, and embrace spring. And now we'll have an ode to sock burning and um, the sock burners. How many of you were here last year? Okay, you can talk along with me because I'm sure you remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ode to sock burners. The East Port boys got an odd tradition. When the sun swings to its equinoxial position, they build a little fire down along the docks. They doff their shoes and they burn their winter socks. Yes, they burn their socks at the equinox. You might think it's peculiar, but I think it's not. See, they're all the same socks they put on last fall, and they never took them off to wash them, not at all. So they burn their socks at the equinox in a line, in a little old fire burning nice and hot. Some think incineration is the only solution because washing them contributes to the Chesapeake's pollution. <laughs> <laughs> Through the spring and the summer and into the fall, they go around not wearing any socks at all. Just stinky bare feet stuck in old deck shoes, whether out on the water or sipping on a brew. So if you sail into the harbor on the 20th of March and you smell a smell like Wingburger sauteed <laughs> with laundry starch, you know you're downwind from Eastport docks where they're burning their socks for equinox. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, beautiful, beautiful. those of you who brought socks. Well, it's here to my eye. Okay. In an effort to please Neptune, yeah, let's get out. the Roman god of the sea, uh -huh. and Poseidon, the Greek god of the sea, in the hope that we may be blessed with a glorious spring and a safe and smooth sailing season. You can throw your socks in. <laughs> We've done that. Now, uh, we do the four points of the compass, and I've asked four people to join me here. Uh, spirit of the East. Spirit of air, spirit of the East, spirit of air, of morning and springtime. Be with us as the sun rises in times of beginning, times of planting. Inspire us with a fresh breath of courage as we go forth into new adventures. Spirit of the South. Spirit of the South, spirit of fire, of noontime and summer. Be with us through the heat of the day and help us to be overgrowing. Warm us with strength and energy for the work that waits, awaits us. Spirit of the West. Spirit of the West, spirit of water, of evening and autumn. Be with us as the sun sets and help us to enjoy a rich harvest. Flow through us with a cooling, healing quietness and bring us peace. And Spirit of the North. Spirit of the North, Spirit of Earth, of nighttime and winter, be with, be with us in the darkness in the time of gestation. Ground us in the wisdom of changing seasons as we celebrate the spiraling journey of our lives. Mm. At times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has cause to think with deep gratitude of those who have lighted the flame within us. Mm. Now we can do the song. Oh, lift it up, love us your way, moonlight, starlight.